what I'm going to make today is going to be similar to this little jig here. This jig holds the uh, K-frame up. You can weld it, reinforce it, and do anything you want to it. Paint it while it's on there. But I can still use the engine stand part to mount an engine. It's not permanently modified. It's modified just enough so I can use it for that. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to do one with the transmission. But I want it on the four bosses of the this transmission. This is a slant case. six. 904 transmission, empty case. Now, there are four bosses as you can see. These are used on the assembly line, these are used to uh, machine it at the time, when it's cast and everything else. Here is a engine stand piece that I'm going to use. But I'm going to make them adjustable. I'm going to slot them. And this is all going to be you know, just uh, pod, junk pile stuff that I got. Like, I'm going to make some adjustments, threaded adjustments, so I can actually put these up here like this, and then bolt them in and be able to adjust it, whether it's a 904, a 727, a TH400, a 700R, whatever. As long as it has bosses like that, I'll be able to mount it. Load it like this. I want to be able to put the engine stand like this. I can load it from the top or from the side like this. So I'm going to do some As you can see, I have the factory transmission stand that's used in the factory service manual. I got this one from Pennsylvania on eBay for 25 bucks. So I scalped this one right up. Yep, it's nice. Works good. But I can't rotate it as easily as the one I'm going to make. So that's why I'm doing this one. And, you know, Rabbit Transit gave me a nice push when he made his. So I figured I'd make I'm mine. I'm going to use this a 7 button. inch and a half cutoff saw that I got from Big Lots ages ago. It's probably like 20, 30 years old. And I'm going to cut most of the steel with this. And I'm going to weld some nuts in and do some other things. This is how I'll keep all my hardware sorted out and how I can find it when I need it. Washers, whether bolts, gas retaining rings, stuff like that. Everything put away in such a way I continuously do this. This way I keep it always clean. I always have a way to find it. I rarely have to go down in the hardware store and get stuff because I've done this over the years so much. By flattening one of the corners on it to make a nice fit, nice little press fit, you can get a grade 8 nut to go in there. And I'm going to weld these up and I'm going to make four of these so I can make my uh, jig. Just need to make four of these. That's all. One down, three more to go. All right, now my little extensions have worked. These are made out of one eighth tubing. They should have been made out of three sixteenths to make me a little stronger. But this is adequate, it'll work. Now you could load everything from the top, or you can spin it, and you can work on it sideways if you wanted to. I was thinking about this for years, but I never thought about doing it. And now I did it. Looks pretty good. Um, and like I said, all this was made from scrap. The uh, engine stand came to me when someone gave me a, a 1974 free charger, free Dodge charger from, uh, from the 1974. Like, okay, I'll take that. And this came along with it with a 318, so. Why not? There you go. Easy peasy. And made from scrap. Thanks for watching.